This video will demonstrate creating a Visio project file. Um, there are other videos that will demonstrate how to actually create each one of the page types that are in here, like line and schematic and elevation. Uh, this video is simply how to create the file itself uh, and a little bit about the uh, Visio interface. So uh, to create the file, uh, what you're going to want to do is go to uh, the Start menu here, go to Projects and Manage Projects. Um, out here, you're going to select a project. Make sure that it's checked out to you, or you won't be able to do this, so check out the project. Um, multiple ways to create Visio files. Um, you can have a as many Visio files as you want for a particular project. Uh, right here is one way, new Visio. Down here, where you see the Files tab, uh, if there were any existing uh, Visio files, they would list here in this list. The default filter here is all, but of course if I go to Visio here, there's nothing because all is just one file at this point. But after I create the Visio file, this is where um, it will reside. So um, you can also right click the project itself. So we'll do that. What you see here is a list of the default templates for Visio of all different sizes. So we've set these up to be different um, page sizes in Visio as uh, well as have certain um, page types, and, and those are the drawing types that we do. You'll see those once the file opens. Uh, again, line, elevation, plan, and schematic. So I'm going to choose the 11 by 17 size. Um, you see we do have metric down here. Uh, it'll automatically name it uh, for the uh, after the project name and then put a dash 1. So um, And you can choose how to categorize it uh, once it's saved. In this case, it's defaulting to Visio, so I'm going to leave that. That makes sense since it's a Visio file. Now, um, if you want your logo to uh, populate on the title block, check this box. Uh, by default, this is unchecked. Um, but uh, once you check that, it will pull in from the company information out under the control panel, the logo that you've set for your company. Uh, will automatically replace that in Visio. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK here. And Visio is going to launch. And what it's doing right now is it's um, opening the project file. And you can see over here this uh, little frame shape still has the other logo on it. Um, it's working. And there it was replaced with the company logo that I've added for uh, this demonstration. And um, what that actually did is it added the logo um, to the title background uh, shape here that's around this page. And that uh, page is then linked to all of these foreground pages. Um, except for the cover sheet. The cover sheet you can do whatever you'd like with. But this is the um, Visio interface for uh, SI2015. Um, right now it's mostly looking just like Visio. Here, let's go here to a line diagram. But the templates that we've created, um, this one being the 11 by 17, all start with a cover sheet uh, page here. And then you've got a line diagram, elevation view, plan view, schematic view, uh, page types at the bottom for doing the different style drawings within Visio. Um, over here on the left, you can see a list of your catalog. There's a products tab. So this little Dtools SI 2015 section that we've added here. Um, the products by default here are listing by category, but I could view them uh, by manufacturer if I wanted to, or uh, I could choose to display subcategories. There's also a shapes tab here. Uh, the first time you launch Visio uh, on a, uh, every one of your SI2015 clients, you're going to be prompted to download uh, Visio stencils, and that's uh, what you'll see here, um, a list of our default stencils that have the shapes in them. Uh, more on that in other videos. Um, what's also here is the project editor. So there's a button here. Um, it actually opens automatically, but then minimizes um, but if I click this, this will pull up the project um, editor for this particular project. And um, this will be where you can you know, continue to add parts, manage the parts for the project. And uh, of course, most importantly, everything that's already in this project, you can drag over to these different uh, drawing pages to create your Visio drawings.